Hello, Sugar Cube. Today we are learning about the cube. Let us look at some of the attributes of the three D shapes. The first attribute is the face. The flat surfaces of the shape are called faces. How many faces does a cube have? Ready? One, two, three, four. Four faces around. Now include the top and the bottom faces. Five, six. Total of six faces. Now pause the video and count the number of faces of your cube. Do you notice that all the faces of a cube are square in shape? In a cube, there are six squares. The second one is the edge. The edge of a 3D shape is the line where the two of its surfaces meet. How many edges does a cube have? Let's count the edges at the front. One, two, three, four. Now count the number of edges at the back. Five, six, seven, eight. Almost done. We just have to count the side edges on the top and the bottom. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The cube has a total of twelve edges. We also have corner. Corner is where two or more edges meet. A corner can also be called a vertex. How many vertices does a cube have? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A cube has a total of eight vertices. I would like you to make a cube model using toothpicks and Play-Doh. I have a video here that may help you. Click here. Put the cube on the table and give it a little push. A cube does not roll like a ball. A ball can roll because it has a curved surface. A cube can only slide because all the faces of the cube are flat. Because all the faces on the cube are flat, therefore they can be stacked on any surfaces that are flat. Please prepare the followings for next Monday. Rectangular prism shaped object. Toothpicks and play doh to make a rectangular prism. <laughs>